We're an aggregation of 7,700 hectares. We mainly crop wheat, barley, canola and legumes, irrigated and dry land. Our main goal is to get early establishment. We see issues with uh, crown rot and rhizoctonia as our main inhibiting factor here for early establishment. We're trying to create that crop competition with weeds and disease, so we find that Evergold Energy is a good fit there. Evergold Energy is a unique product that we've released in 2019. It's particularly strong in uh, areas uh, such as smuts and bunts, uh, pythium, rhizoctonia, registered in wheat and barley for dual purposes of seed treatment, but also in furrow, which is quite unique for seed treatments. So here at Borton, Victoria, um, in the daybreak cropping operation. Uh, we've used Evergold Energy across wheat and barley and we've seen some fantastic emergence and the advisors and, and consultants uh, involved along with the farm managers uh, are very impressed so far and uh, we look forward to seeing um, what it can carry through to. So we're now in September here at Catumnal. Uh, flag leaves are starting to emerge but we're, we're starting to need some rainfall to, to finish the season off. Our in-crop rainfall this year has been below average and with the addition of Evergold Energy and, and that early seedling, seeding emergence, we've been able to maximise any rainfall that we have had throughout the season. Yeah, we've sort of been able to capitalise on that early break that we had in May. We found that Evergold Energy has aided with that early crop establishment and now it's contributed to evenness that we have that we can see across the farm now in our cereals. We're looking forward to seeing how Evergo Energy performs at harvest on control of smuts and bunts and crown rot. Yeah, 2019 has been a really good year for our cereals, so we've had a, quite a good year in resulting in yield and quality of our cereals. The other crops did seem to um, struggle a bit later in the year but the cereal seemed to really hold on. It got that good start and was there to be able to hold that potential that we did have and to make the most of that good start through your use of Evergold Energy and we've seen some results at harvest time that were beyond our expectations. So in 2020 our plans are to use Evergold Energy again across our cereals and I think we will use Evergold Energy going forward because of the results we've seen in 2019. Thank you.